Hartman here, back again with you on another episode of Change, where we spell it C-H-A-I-N-G-E, and we inform you about AI, how AI is changing the world, and how you can leverage AI instead of be afraid of it to make your business better and make your life better. So I'm really excited today to have an interview with Brando Murphy, who's on the call. Uh, Brando and I met in 2021, and um, just a super charismatic guy, super knowledgeable on technology and really building community around technology using his skill set, but also uh, really intent on just helping people and educating people. Because there's so much change in the world today, whether it be AI or blockchain or other types of technology, robotics, automated driving, what have you. And Brando is up to speed on that. Uh, he started the company Bigger Than Race LLC. I think it was a few years ago, Brandon. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. That, that happened in uh, 2019. Okay, yeah. And, and, and since I first met with you in 2021, boy, has it grown a lot. He has his media channel that he is very active in. Uh, he has a community that follows him to, to help follow what's trending, what do they need to know, where do they need to go with their lives and with technology. And then he also curates a very small group of, I guess you call it VIPs that he advises for technology as well. So uh, before he started this journey, which we both shared many similar thoughts on, um, just a, a, about around that, uh, specifically, uh, Brando came to an event I was holding in LA that had Grace the Robot there and Dr. Ben Gertzel. So uh, he had already been following Dr. Ben Gertzel, who many of you know is the father of artificial general intelligence for some time. And um, it was great to put them two together. And Brando has been very active in that Singularity Net uh, community since then as well. So uh, Brando, thrilled to have you here. Uh, you're an innovator, you're an educator, you know, you have tons of energy, uh, you're using your passion and your charisma for the right things. So would you mind telling the audience here a little bit about yourself and Bigger Than Race? And where yeah, you're no, a hundred percent. First and foremost, I want to thank you for this invite, Bill. I, I really appreciate it. And it's always great to connect with you and, you know, not only share information, but also piggyback and learn from somebody like you as well. So uh, thank you for that. But yeah, you know, uh, I've gotten into this blockchain, Web3, crypto space uh, in late 2016. And uh, I pretty much saw that there was a, a, a lack of influencers in this space with integrity and also authenticity. And I kind of took it upon myself to be that beacon of hope that people can rely on and trust blindly. And I really value my reputation in that regard. And I value how people view me uh, when it comes to the information I give off. So, you know, I started that in 2017. I, I, I immersed myself by getting certified in various areas in the space, uh, one being blockchain technology and Bitcoin through IBM, and then also getting certified in uh, Web3 in the metaverse through a company called Every Realm which was formerly known as Republic Realm. So I've done that because I wanted to actually be top tier in my field and actually be somebody that people can depend on who would be considered as an expert. So I've done that. I found a company called Bigger Than Race and uh, I, I pretty much started this from a YouTube channel in early 2012, but I was actually led by God to actually uh, come back and bring it back to the forefront and, uh, you know, utilize it in crypto, in the crypto world and start an entire, entirely new company, Bigger Than Race LLC, and start your YouTube channel and build off from that. And what I come to find once I did that, that people valued the work I was doing. I was doing deep dive research, connecting the dots. And I had people come to me and was like, look, if you were to start a Patreon group, a private Patreon group, we would pay you uh, on a monthly basis. So I never thought that I would be doing this in that way. And I did. I started the Patreon group. People started to join the Patreon. And I started to see that this was much bigger than me. It, it was bigger than race. And the, the meaning behind Bigger Than Race is pretty much connecting the dots, connecting people from all walks of life and bringing them under one hub. I'm the type of person I feel like, uh, you know, you could put the, 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 the Ku Klux Klan, the uh, Black Lives Matter, any group under one hub 
and still get the same outcome, which is bringing community together, creating successful people within blockchain web three and making the world a better place by sharing information. And we've been doing that successfully. And uh, that's just where we are. That's where we started. And uh, we're gonna continue to do that as we elevate to the fourth industrial revolution. Mm. Yeah, fighting the good fight there. It would be great to get those specific groups together and have peace. That That's a wonderful world. It's Anything's possible. But when you think bigger than race, the, the what technology is doing now is progressing so fast that it could be even be beyond the human race at some point when you look at it from the, the higher perspective and that we're all one. Yeah. By the way, there's a message in that. And I like that about your message. Sure. And, um, you know, what the advancements we're seeing with artificial intelligence, with uh, blockchain technology, cryptocurrency, AR, VR, metaverse, which you're at the forefront of, are changing so fast. I mean, this year has been a whirlwind in AI. So with that in mind, whether it be blockchain or crypto or AI, you know, what projects are you excited about? What are you working on these days? Well, I'm, a, I'm excited about a lot of different things. Of course, you know, everything coming out of the Singularity Net ecosystem. Um, I'm, I'm really excited about that. But most importantly, I'm excited about continuing to uh, bring value uh, with with my company, Bigger Than Race. Since then, I've been doing a lot of speaking engagements and getting the word out at these different conferences all over the world. And I'm, I'm really excited about getting my presence out there a lot more uh, so that people actually know we exist, that this community is here. So we've been really focused on, focusing on uh, marketing the community uh, and uh, doing certain things, giving value uh, in, in ways that other communities aren't. So we have a NFT project that is pretty much coming out to help individuals partake in seed round allocations that they normally wouldn't get opportunities to really take part in. It's, you have your seat at the 1% table, so to speak. So we're working dil diligently behind the scenes with that. And that is uh, something I'm extremely happy about because it it's just so much value. And people really don't understand the opportunity of these seed investments within blockchain technology. So I'm excited about that. Yeah, um, that that is exciting. You know, there are so many brilliant people, kids, and all walks of life, all ages, actually, yeah that don't know how to um, perpetuate or promote their idea and certainly don't know how to raise capital for that as well. So you talked about your NFT helping with the seed raise or pre-seed raise and things like that. Uh, what a wonderful thing to get some of these brilliant uh, you know, people out there and help fund their ideas so that they can make an impact on the world. I know even for me, because I advise a lot of pre-seed and seed stage companies that even seasoned corporate entrepreneurs or executives, they don't know what to do at that level. So if you can just take the basic brilliant genius, you know, 18-year-old uh, technology, you know, a uh, female and help promote their idea, that's for the, the common good. So I really appreciate that. And I see that in, in, your, um, in your outreach and then in, in your interviews. I just saw you on a fascinating interview you did in Miami on Web3. That was yeah, good yeah, one yeah. as well. So yeah, I appreciate that. And then yeah. additionally, you talked about Singularity Net. We're both excited about that. I think there's one kind of, and I want to get your, your feeling about this, um, there's one common thread there that we both believe in, which is, which is decentralized AI and individuals owning their own training data and hopefully the world owning artificial general intelligence, which is human level AI, meaning it's as smart as a human, before we get to artificial super intelligence, where AI is, is as smart as everybody on the planet at the same time. Because now we live in a world of artificial narrow intelligence. And even open AI and, and um, you know, chat GPT can be uh, comprised of that kind of large language model. What's your thoughts on decentralized AI or AI as a, as, a, as a tool, as a source of power, and who should control it? What are your thoughts? It's a lot there, but I think you can yeah. unpack it. Well, you know, personally, I think decentralized AI is very much needed. Uh, I know people may think because of the programming from movies and TV shows, uh, or maybe Elon Musk telling people that, you know, AI will take over. I, I think people feel like it's a bad thing, but I think they're missing the concept. The, the concept is to work alongside of uh, these, these technologies and, you know, allow them to free up certain 
time that we would be spending on certain things uh, like writing essays or things of that nature and you know utilize these AI. So I personally think that it, it's a good it's a good thing in the right hands, and especially if it's in a decentralized manner where there's no centralized you know control over it. Uh, but I, I think it's necessary. I think it's it's a it's a good tool. It's a great use case, depending on you know what it's being used for. And those who understand it, which is what people are coming into now with the chat GPTs, they don't know that they're being used to test this as an introduction uh, to what is to come. Because you know if they were aware of certain things that Singularity Net is doing, uh, they would see that this is going to advance much deeper and much rapid, uh, more rapidly than we we really know. Yeah, really, it's going so fast just this year alone. And and it's interesting from your perspective because you're entrusted not only with knowledge from people who come to you and go, you know, what's going on here? What do I need to know? But also investors come to you and then they look to you for guidance on what should they invest in. And you've also put your own personal money into investments in the space. So obviously you're very discerning when it comes to where you deploy your capital and take yeah. a deep dive. So yeah. uh, thank you for the support of Singularity Net and uh, the ecosystem there. There's some exciting projects there, but it's a lot to unpack, you know, all these things uh, yeah. and, and keep up. And, uh, you know, we're, we're seeing this year, which I believe is a baseline technology, artificial intelligence getting its day in the sun, or maybe it's millennium in the sun uh, from here on out. And of course, blockchain had a good run over the past couple of years. Uh, we saw what metaverse people got hyped about it. It's that hype cycle curve. If you've seen that before, yeah, yeah, before yeah. you get to the trough of disillusionment that even uh, Facebook is a part of right now, uh, we're not there with metaverse yet. Uh, you and I both know that metaverse is going to be a big part of the future. AR, VR, we're getting there. Automated driving, automated flying, we're not there. How do you stay up on all these technologies so that you're able to educate your constituents? Well, I'm glad you asked me that. One way I, I stay up is is I watch people like you, Bill. You you put out valuable information all of the time. And I think not enough people know that you are even here. So I tune into what people like you say. There, of course, there's various websites we read up on different different uh crypto projects. Uh we 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 read up on uh I mean honestly, there there's just so much to keep up. And I have a team that helps me because I can't do it all by myself. I know we, we, we do our best to dive deep, to understand the trends to come. Uh, and I believe the trend is your friend. And, you know, recently you put out, uh, before 2023 came, you put this out in 2022, you had a video. I forget, I have the video on my phone, but I forget the name of it. But you, you told us what was getting ready to happen with AI, the different trends to come, IoT, Internet of Things, uh, uh, augmented reality, AR, VR. And if people are paying attention, I stay up, up to date mainly because the truth is hidden in plain sight. They tell you in movies, they tell you in TV shows, uh, you have certain influential people in the world, whether it be at Davos or on the news. These individuals tell you what is happening and where we're headed. But too many times people are not keyed in on these people because there's too much uh, information out there to be consumed. You, you might be worried about what Cupcake Kim Kardashian is eating today. So that is gonna take you away from what you need to be focused on. So me personally, I like to follow the money, follow the trends and follow the people who, who create the change within the worlds that we're living in. And that is the main way. There's a TV show called Black Mirror on Netflix. It tells you exactly where we're headed. And I'm seeing a lot of these things that were on that TV show playing out right now because I'm investing in it. So I kind of connect the dots. I see the trends that are on horizon. I see what they're putting out in the media. And I listen to the thought leaders within uh, certain uh, sectors, such as yourself, and I I see it. They just like for Singularity Net, nobody knew what Singularity Net was, but they saw Sophia the robot being propped around with different celebrities, being interviewed, and she has her she has citizenship, 
in a, a specific country. I forget the country's name off the top of my head. But nobody seems to understand how to connect the dots. So I help people connect the dots. I help them see what is coming. And I utilize those different things, showing them with the investments of blockchain technology, how they're merging and connecting. Uh, well, you know, thank you for that. Yeah, I agree. You know, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. And, um, and it's not the right timing for everybody, but the message is sinking in. I like what you said, the trend is your friend. You know, yeah. for me throughout my career, and I've been through multiple cycles from the dot-com era, social media era, and now we're into the blockchain and Web3 era. Um, I've just been able to spot those things, probably because I came from a generation where um, I had to turn the dial on the TV, Brando. I don't yeah. know, you probably did not. I and did, I did uh, earlier on, earlier on. Oh, well, good for you. You're staying, yeah. you're, you're staying young. Yeah. So I had to turn the dime. I was good at it too. I mean, I could pop that thing from two to eight, like right on every yeah. single time jump because basically your parents said, go turn the dial. That, that was the remote control back then. Mm -hmm. And then I grew up with uh, a Commodore 64. I programmed in basic. I had the first cell phone in my car on and on. So I felt so lucky to be able to see this change happening to get to where we are. I, it's almost like I understand the DNA of it. But, and thank you for the acknowledgement. You're right. I mean, I don't have millions of followers. I think that the cream rises to the top and, the, and you, you stress truth and, and where we're going is important. I know I'm getting there. I've been focused in my career on like, how do we take these companies and make them successful from ground Absolutely. up? And that's been a valuable lesson. So you take growing up with it, uh, being in the startup environment since I was a kid, I'm ready and poised to work with people like you, Brandon, to get that message out there. So, no, 100. And you know, I want to also thank you because, uh, well, I know I don't, I thanked you before, but thank you for the introduction to meeting uh, Dr. Ben Gortzel because that was major to see him in person. And you know what's so funny? I have individuals who see that picture because you know AI is is taking on to another level. They think the the picture is fake. So, <laughs> You have oh, you were you were there, Brando. I was there with you. Yes, let them know I was there, and I was next to uh, who is to become uh, like the likes of the next Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs, and uh, you know, people are in for a, a, a shock if they think that this stuff is not really happening uh, because it's moving faster than you think, um, and I, I really feel like. We're, we're in for a shock in regards to how fast the growth of artificial intelligence is going to come and happen by 2025. That's just a few short months. Yeah. Away. So, I mean, look at it. Here we are. We're almost, you know, we're middle of April now, 2023. I felt like New Year's was just yesterday. Exactly. I totally agree with you. For those of you that don't know, uh, Dr. Ben Gertzel, who I met in 2021 as well, is known as the father of AGI. I mentioned that earlier, artificial general intelligence. You can pretty much type the letters A-G-I in Google News now, and you'll find a bunch of people talking about it. He wrote the book on it before anybody even knew what that term was. But of course, Ray Kurzweil talked about the singularity even before that. They're friends. They know each other. And um, they're of the mind that artificial, you know, our human level artificial intelligence is coming, whether we like it or not. And uh, technology is a tool that can be, Brando, as you've alluded to, used by humanity, utilized by humanity, not to be feared, because we're in this blue ocean, green filled era where you can really create tremendous. When I say you, I mean, the people watching this video can create tremendous opportunity on it just with the simplest of actions using AI in their current day to day work today. I do it all the time. Yeah. So um, I'm excited that you said that. And um, let's 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 switch gears here and and. For those, you're an investor. You're a discerning investor. You're, you're also entrusted as an opinion maker for many other VIPs out there as well. Looking at these opportunities, whether it be investing in a company or investing time, because people can take this technology and create some great cash flow engines from that. Absolutely. What do you what do you suggest to people? What do you suggest to young entrepreneurs or, or people looking to, you know, hustle and have additional income? What do you say to them? Well, personally, I feel like if if you are looking to capitalize off of this, this new uh, this new sector of crypto, uh, blockchain technology, I feel like before you do anything, is do what I did. Uh, investigate truth on your own terms. Study this space before you make a move investing in it. Even before you even decide to start a business in it. Uh, because I feel like you don't know what you don't know. 
And had I not taken the time that I did before I started to speak as an influencer, I think I would be just like everybody else. Uh, the blind leading the blind. And that extra time that I took to study and to advance myself and become certified in different areas is really why I'm on the conversation and the change podcast with you today, Bill, uh, because I did things to separate myself from the pack. And it's one thing to talk about something, but it's another thing when I am the guy who I say I am, because the action meets the words. And I have a reputation that, you know, proves that in a, a community who can definitely back that up. So I would say you investigate truth on your own terms, and then you find thought leaders like Bill Inman's, like myself, who are actually uh, really making an impact. And you can actually see the real value. You can see, you know, actually. Money, actual money gains uh, in returns of investment. You have people that can actually vouch for you. You know, you can watch podcast episodes like this. So find a community where you can actually learn and uh, attach yourself with like-minded individuals uh, because that's the most important thing. I didn't have that when I got into crypto. I had to be that guy for other people. So I, I took all the, the L's. I took all the butt whoopings. But I'm glad that I did that and I'm glad I went through that because that made me stronger for the other individuals to come. And now I'm just helping people accelerate their learning curves and avoid those pitfalls that do happen. And I, and I feel like there's many companies that you could start up with Web3. You know, a lot of people are just doing that randomly. But do you want something that is going to withstand the, the times and move with the times or, or be a fly by night company like a BitConnect or something like that. You could do that, but I want to be here to leave a legacy. So if you want to do those things, I would say, look at the landscape, uh, research it, find out exactly what you would like to bring to the table and, and do that with the utmost integrity and honesty. And I'm sure that everything will play out the way that it should play out for you. That's good advice. I mean, and you've recommended on some of your videos, hey, read the white papers, right, for, for blockchain 100%. projects. And, you know, people, even myself, you know, what? how do I start? I don't understand this stuff. You know, just start reading and just start making, if you got to print it out and make notes in the column, just start write notes in Notepad, just start taking notes. But your thoughts are valid for anybody watching this. And, and that's where you're going to find what you're good at. You know, just to go back to the, the previous question, about how to help people. I feel like people don't understand how to look at these investment opportunities within the blockchain world. They don't understand that they're investing in startup companies. So they've been too consumed with the mainstream narratives or this person or that person who really doesn't even understand what they're talking about to understand that you're investing in startups. So you need to read the white papers because the white paper is giving you the blueprint of where they're trying to take everything. But people bypass the white paper and listen to YouTubers who don't know what they're talking about and get mad when things go down in a price. But you're not realizing that they're a startup. So some of that capital that you might have saw in that market cap, they utilize to help fund the project. So they're mad because they're lacking knowledge. And I feel like we have to understand the right approach to these assets. And once you understand what you're investing in, which is truly, if you do know where everything is moving to, you're investing in the underpinning of the new economy. Mm -hmm. You said Industrial Revolution 4.0. Hey, I'll just put it out there for everybody, for, for you and I. You know, we're not investment advisors, so you got to do your own due diligence. Right, right. You have to read. You have to read. You have to do. We've mentioned a few company names. I would say for Brando and I, we we like particular companies, but we, you do your own research and recommendations on these things. That's not who we are, what we do. So yeah, that's what you're alluding to. Do your research, everybody. And cryptocurrency is very risky. Just investing in the stock market is very risky these days too, by the way, and has been down quite a bit over the past year. So um, yeah, do your research. I, I totally agree with that. So uh, this has been a really interesting conversation. I look forward to partnering with you. Let me yes. go back for a second. Sure. And uh, I just want to talk about, because you were talking about yourself, and I want to go back to that. 
you know, one thing you're a super confident guy. And for people who don't, you know, aren't that confident, sometimes they're like, hey, who are you? What's going on here? It's that it's that kind of low on Maslow's hierarchy of needs approach, right? So, um, but one thing I appreciate about you that you've always been since I've known you is that you've been very respectful, very gracious, and very professional. And I think where the empowering other comes from others comes from from you is that you give away that power. You, you're you're happy to compliment people. It's something we can all do better. So I just want to recognize that in you as an individual. That's a great quality. So, um, Brando, uh, you know, we're now in Industrial Revolution 4.0. You mentioned that earlier. That's when human beings and AI come together and create new things. Industrial Revolution 5.0 is when human beings merge with technology, which is freaky and creepy, and we won't go there yet. Yeah. Um, and we're coming out of Industrial Revolution 3.0 and 2.0, where we use coal and information and the printing press, right? It's all exactly. moving so much faster. So I think that you and I are going to have a lot to say, and there's some strong narratives there. And um, everybody, again, Brando Murphy, he's the founder of Bigger Than Race. Correct me if I'm wrong, biggerthanrace.com is where yep. they can find you. Is that correct? Absolutely. Okay. Yep. Uh, anywhere else? Should they look for you at email, Telegram, or anything like that? Yeah. You know, I have uh, Instagram, uh, Brando Murphy Official. I'm on, I have a Telegram group, private Patreon. Just go on patreon.com, Bigger Than Race. Uh, you know, you can find me on Instagram and that will link you to everything. You know, uh, we're just here delivering this truth and helping people uh, accelerate and learn uh, where things are headed. So if that's something that you're interested in, if you're interested in being on top of the curve and not letting it hit you, uh, you should come definitely tune into Bigger Than Race and Bigger Than Race on YouTube as well. I saw that, a lot of good information there. So thank you everybody for watching. Remember you're watching Change where we're helping you understand how AI is and emerging technology is changing the world in Industrial Revolution 4.0, 5.0, and beyond. So, Brando, thank you again for your time today. It's been a great episode. We'll, we'll definitely see you again Appreciate on the show. It. Thanks. Take care.